So if you've wronged someone else, you've also wronged God. And so you should go to God and seek His forgiveness. Now here's the thing that you have to know. God is completely offended when you do wrong. He is enraged when you do wrong. Look at the cross. But He promises always to forgive. Every single time you come to Him, He is, loves to forgive. He loves to forgive. I'll just read the verse for you for time here. Jeremiah 33, 8, the Lord says, I will cleanse, that is make pure or wash, you from all your iniquity by which you have sinned against me, and I will pardon or forgive all your iniquities by which you have sinned and by, and by which you have transgressed against me. I will wash you of everything that you've done wrong. I will wipe away the complete death. Wash. What did we talk about that, that uh, wronging someone does to the conscience? What's the word? The stain. He says, I will wash the stain. I will wash it away. I will forgive everything you've done. I will release the debt. When I wronged Donnie, I inc in, uh, incurred a debt to him, but I in incurred a debt to God too. And God says, if you ask me, I'll release it. I'll release it. But people have trouble with that. They go to God. I think someone mentioned that. They go to God and they ask for forgiveness. And they believe the Bible says that they're forgiven, but they still can't quite accept God's forgiveness. They can't quite accept it. They struggle with some lingering guilt even when they believe God has forgiven them. This is due, let me tell you what this is due, primarily to the feeling that it isn't fair that they got off without punishment. You dig down under the layers. What, what's, what the problem is, is they go, it just doesn't seem right that I got, still got by with this. God has forgiven me, but I got by, I, I didn't pay. They want to pay. It is not true that nobody paid for your forgiveness. It is not true that there has been no punishment. There has been punishment, but a substitute took it. Instead of you being punished, you had someone stand in your place. Jesus of Nazareth did it. And you say, well, I don't like it that He did it, but He did it because He loves you. He did it freely of His own will. It, it's not, he's not mad about it. He's not upset about it. He's not angry with you. What I, Samuel, why did I have to die for your sins, man? Come on. He's not doing that. He loved to do it. He wanted to do it. So it's simply not true that it's not fair. It is fair, and that's why God had Christ die, because it's completely fair. You see that? So when you're, when you're having trouble accepting God's forgiveness for something you did wrong, you need to realize that He did punish it. But He used your substitute. And now you get on your knees and you praise Jesus for what He did for you. Okay? Do you see that? It comes back to Him.